Hi guys, welcome back. I have a quick update video on some staining that I did on this floor here. Uh, when I did this floor, it was the first time I ever did a dark wood stain for a floor. That's the first time I ever done it was when I did this one. I've done a lot of staining with instant coffee and made wood pieces for my gnome home, but they were a light colored uh, wood. And you can't get light colored wood just on cardboard, so what I came up with was paper towel and they always turn out so nice. So when I did this dark, dark floor, I thought I had to do the same thing, put some paper towel over top and then stain it. But I was working on some wainscoting tonight and I realized I didn't have to cover the uh, cardboard with paper towel first. I could just directly stain it with the instant coffee if I'm doing a dark wood. So I just wanted to pop in and show that because it would save you a step and some frustration of trying to lay down paper towel as well because paper towel can be difficult to work with when you're trying to cover a large area. For me, I'm happy that I use the paper towel because I can see that it's added a lot of texture to my to my wood piece here and I really like the look. But for those of you, of you who don't want to go through all of that, you can directly stain the cardboard if you're doing a dark wood stain. I'll take you to my gnome home for a second. I want to show you something. Okay, so here is my tower, and inside there is a set of steps, and those steps are uh, tin foil, masking tape, paper towel, and then instant coffee. So that was that light colored wood is instant coffee, and then the bark around it is dark instant coffee and some paint. So it's the same as the bunk bed that I made on the top floor. That is a light colored stain, so I had to use a paper towel over that uh, masking tape so I could use that instant coffee stain and get that beautiful light color. So back over here at the new tree, that wainscoting there is just a piece of cardboard that I cut. My instant coffee is really dark, so that's a lot of coffee and just a little bit of water. And just like all my pieces that I've stained with instant coffee, you do have to seal it in. So I always spray my pieces after they're dry. Anyway, I just wanted to pop in and save you guys a step. If you want to do a dark wood stain, you don't have to add the paper towel first. This is something to keep in mind though, because if you're making something like had rounded edges, like say a fireplace mantle, and you wanted to have dark wood stain, you couldn't really use cardboard you would have to maybe build it out of tin foil and then um, over the tin foil put masking tape and then your paper towel and then you could do your dark dark stain so that's an option as well I've done that in the gnome home I've built fireplace mantles out of tin foil and they turn out pretty good I think and you can get nice big thick pieces of wood that looks like wood nice big thick pieces with rounded edges and stuff like that so it's just something to keep in mind as you're going along if you wanted to just do hardwood floor without the paper towel, the option is there for you as well. Alright guys, I'll end it here and I have a lot of updates coming your way next week. I have already uh, filmed and edited a couple more videos. There's some doors done. I've worked in, some, in the uh, stairs up there. I've worked on the bottom floor as well. So lots of progress. And we've also done some stone work as well. So lots of stuff coming your way. Hope you're all well. And please post pictures of your tree houses if you're building one on doll houses and the things that go in them on Facebook. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you soon.